Hey, are you all heading out on the road for the Thanksgiving holiday week? And you're going to go be going to see loved ones and everything else. You're going to be part of the 55 million people that are going to be traveling. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the things that you need to be doing. But first, let's go over this list real quick. These are the top 10 places that are the destinations of all of you out there here in the United States. Number 10 is Charlotte, North Carolina. Number 9 is Chicago, Illinois. Number 8 is Denver, Colorado. Number 7 is Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Six is Phoenix, Arizona. Number five is Atlanta, Georgia. Number four is New York, New York. Number three is Las Vegas. Number two is Anaheim, California. And the number one spot is Orlando, Florida. All right, so if you are part of the 54.6 million people that are estimated to be traveling, all right, there is going to be 4.5 million people that are going by air and the rest of you 48.7 million are going to be going by your car so let's talk about that if you're going to be in your car traveling with your family let's so as you already want to be doing all right if you're going to be traveling by car you have to make sure that you are prepared in case you're running across a a situation or a storm or anything else now they are predicting that it's supposed to be pretty nice weather for this upcoming travel season uh, there are going to be some rain showers that are going to be moving across and up through the east coast um, but no major snowstorms which is very good news for 55 million people out there now some of the things that you still have to make sure that you are doing if you're going to be traveling with your family and your vehicles you want to have an emergency type kit you want to make sure that you have a flashlight, a headlamp, maybe extra batteries for your flashlight. You want to make sure you have snacks and water to drink in case something happens. You get stranded, you get stuck in traffic or something like that because of an accident or whatever it could be. All right, you want to make sure you have extra blankets or something. And just on the chance that you did break down in the middle of the night and you can't get anywhere, you have kids in the car, you know, they could get cold or anything else. Make sure that people have warm clothing. Okay, um, hats, gloves, coats, whatever, especially if you're traveling in the north or out in the west to the north. Um, this way here, if you do run into really cold weather or anything like that, minus the snow and everything, you know, I mean, you have some way to keep warm or whatever else. If something happened, you did have to leave your vehicle and walk. Um, make sure that all that kind of stuff is all really right there and can be gathered in a quick, basically timely fashion. You may also want to bring along a first aid kit. Could not hurt. If you have room in your vehicle, throw your first aid kit in there, just on the chance that if something did happen, um, you do have some way to tend to, uh, you know, those type of things. Um, if something did very badly go wrong you know I mean if there was a, a situation that did arise and you were able to uh, help out in that situation but you need to make sure that you are checking your car out also before you go on your trip make sure you're checking all your fluids your oil make sure that you check your windshield wipers make sure they're in good working condition make sure you check your windshield washer fluid Make sure you do check all your tires and everything else. Check all the air pressure because that will also help with your gas mileage. You want to make sure that you have a clean vehicle as far as your windows and everything else. Um, this way here it gives you clear visibility while you are traveling with all these other 55 million people. Okay, so you can see what's going on around you and this way here you can drive and be safe. You want to make sure that in most situations you are trying to obey the speed limits and everything else don't be leaving so late where you have to drive like a madman to try to make dinner on time make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get wherever your destination is because your loved ones will thank you for it you also want to make sure that what you are doing while you are driving is driving do not be on your cell phones okay this is a big thing Stay off your cell phones. You don't need to be texting your mom, your grandma, or whoever else, wherever you're going, and all these different type of things. All that's going to do is cause trouble. If all of a sudden the traffic stops in front of you and you've got your nose in your phone, well, it's not going to be a very happy Thanksgiving. Now, 
That is a very, very important part of this video. I want everybody to make sure that you are enjoying your Thanksgiving. That's why I'm doing this video to try to give you a heads up to keep you all safe while you are traveling from your homes to wherever your loved ones are for the holiday season. Just a, a quick awareness piece so that people can stay safe and arrive in a safe manner. It is very, very important with this amount of people that are traveling and everything else, you may want to plan out your breaks before you go, where you'd like to stop, maybe have lunch, make sure it's by maybe a gas station or something so that you can get off, you can get something to eat, fill the car back up and get back on the road, all in the same exit. This way here, you're not trying to get off here and eat something, get back on, go down the road, I gotta find a gas station, get off, you know, plan your trip out now. This way here, everything is all set in stone. You know how you're gonna be going. Having a plan on how you're gonna be driving, where you're going, if it's your first time going there, make sure you do allow yourself a lot of extra time because you don't know the areas, you don't know if maybe there could be road construction, you don't know if it's a highly congested area and it's going to take longer for you to get to your destination. So you just want to make sure that you do have plenty of time. So if you are traveling on the same day as Thanksgiving because you live close enough to do that, that is great. Just make sure that you are staying safe and leave in plenty of time. This way here you'll arrive and everything will be just fine. If you are driving a very long distance, you may have to plan out where you may be staying. You may have to get a hotel for the night to make it to your destination the following day. So you may want to make sure that you're doing all that stuff now so that you can be prepared and try to save a little bit of money because a lot of these prices have gone up because of inflation. Now, a lot of the hotels and stuff, if you have something like AAA, or if you have a lot of different uh, credit cards, sometimes they do offer a lot of different discounts if you stay at different types of motels or their choice motels or whatever else. So you may want to look into that to try to save yourself some more money. And money is the name of the game on this type of a trip this coming year because the prices of airfare have skyrocketed. Gas prices are kind of... Um, holding their own right now it's kind of odd because usually right before a holiday they always try to raise the prices and depending you could be going from a state where your prices are pretty reasonable and you could be getting to a state where well they're not and so you have to be well aware of that make sure you do have extra cash in case you do need to get gas and stuff in those areas uh, because it could be costing you a lot more than what you're used to paying for you want to make sure that your car is in good working order. You have your emergency supplies in your vehicle along with all your suitcases and all your clothes and maybe some food and stuff like that. Um, you also want to make sure that you are just paying attention if you are the one driving, paying attention to the road and paying attention to what's going on around you so that you will arrive safe and you and your family will have a very blessed Thanksgiving. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I just wanted to bring this quick video to you to make sure that everybody is staying safe. Just an awareness piece. I'm sure a lot of people out there, if you travel a lot, you probably already do all these things and everything else. But if not, this way here, it helps everybody out. And the name of the game for me is your safety on this holiday season. I don't want to see anything happen to anybody that is watching this video on this holiday week traveling to see your own loved ones. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, you all have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And I will catch you all on the flip side.